Hey guys, uh, so in this video I'm going to be going through the process of implementing your own images in the new Fades Layout Generator. Uh, so this plugin download actually comes with uh, comes with two other uh, plugins included. Um, the first of which is what the focus of this video is, which is the Builder plugin. Um, and we'll get into the third one at the end of this video, which is a way to export it. Um, but the Builder plugin will make a version of this layout generator uh, with any custom images that you want to use instead. Uh, so I'm going to jump into the config part of it first because there's only one line to get through, uh, and that is the plugin slot. This is where it is going to uh, look to store the plugin first. It's going to start at this number, it's going to advance until it finds an open, open plugin space. So I'll just leave this at one and you should be good to go. So that's the config part of it. Uh, the important part is what we do with our images. So I've pulled um, five timings from one of the existing image sets that comes with the plugin, um, just to demonstrate for this video. And what's important about these images is the way that they're named. Uh, so we want to format these all with their time followed by their status. So for this plugin, we only have an off and an on status. Uh, basically, the image you want to see when that macro has not been selected most recently and the one you want to see when it has been. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order they're in. The plugin will figure it out based on the name, but it's obviously just easier to look at if they're named in a some format of sense. Sorry, words aren't happening right now. Uh, anyways, so this is what needs to happen. Time followed by status. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's capitalized, lowercase, whatever, it'll handle that. Um, as long as the timing on the label matches the number it's supposed to represent for the image. I think I've said it enough times, sorry. <laughs> um, so now all we need, once we have formatted the names of all these correctly, is to get our image numbers. So we're going to be exporting 759 through 777. Empty space in between is not a problem. Um, so that's the numbers we are going to provide to this plugin. Jesus. Um, so I'm going to click on the plugin. It's going to ask for my starting image. I'm going to say 759. Final image, 777. And it's going to ask for the name. I'm going to call it fades. And we'll say short orange since it's a short version of that. And it's going to give us a confirmation screen, how many images it found in that range, what it's going to name it, and include includes uh, the version number so you know which version of the plugin uh, it was built with. And we'll say OK. And it builds our plugin for us. Now, first off, if I click on our original one, so this is one of the this is the red version of it, uh, of the original plugin. If I click on this, we'll get through the user config part of it. It brings us up to this screen, so we can see that we have all of these images available. I'm going to escape out of that. I'm going to run the one that we just generated. I'm going to say OK. And we can see that our images are the only ones that are included. And if I go ahead and give some input here, so we'll say 0, 1, 2, 4. It says layout 13 is where that was stored. So we'll go to our layouts here and 13. And there we go. We have ourselves a layout. Um, so you can do this with whatever images you want to use. If you have any particular style that you want to be building these with, um, whether it's style or whether it's a times that weren't included or whatever it is, um, this gives you the freedom to have your own version of it. And not only just for that show file, but it'll actually build you a plugin that you can then uh, export and keep on you for that image set. Now, um, one of the things I built for that purpose is a plugin just for exporting your plugins to be reverse compatible. So that way, if you want to export this from, let's say, you're working in 3.9 when you build this, um, but you're going to a show file that's running 3.7 or 3.5, you can do that. So all we have to do is, this is our third plugin that was included. So if we click on this guy, it'll ask for the plugin number, we'll say 4, it'll ask for the name, and it'll extract the current name by default. So we'll say OK to that. And then if you're an on PC, it will automatically open a browser to take you to your current plugins pool. Uh, so somewhere in here is a fades short orange plugin. Um, there it is. Uh, so it'll export that. And if we open this XML file, um, what it's doing to make it reverse compatible is just changing the version number over here. So it'll tell it that it exported from version 3.0. Uh, that way, whatever version you go back to the initial release of public plugins or public release of plugins, whatever. Um, it'll work. That's the that's the end point of this. So that uh, that is how this plugin works. That's how both of these plugins work. Um, hopefully I've explained it clearly enough. Um, I apologize. It's been a long day. Um, so 
Again, this is part of the phase layout uh, system. You can find it for download at my website, blah, blah, blah. I've said all that stuff in my video. You guys know how social media works. Um, enjoy it. Happy programming. Let me know if I can help with anything else. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. Enjoy.